All right, there are a couple of ways that you can set up to the ball. I'm gonna make uh, a couple of suggestions for you. There's actually sort of three ways that people suggest to go about this. Um, I'm gonna go over them and I'm gonna give you my preferred choice for like your baseline stock shot. You're not gonna have tons of time to practice this. So the objective is just to get the freaking ball out with a bit of control, right? We don't want this to be a bogey, double bogey, or whatever. We want to have that confidence that we need. It doesn't mean you're never going to hit bad shots. I happen, it happens to me sometimes. I'm occasionally thin one, duff one, not get it quite right. But if we have a baseline stock kind of setup, it can give us a real advantage for that consistency. What I see a little bit too often is people just a bit too sort of bent down like this, and that's fine, but what happens is you're kind of a bit too stalled with the lower body, all right? That one of the main aspects we need to have is still being like grounded into the turf, but feeling like the, the body is up and tall, that the arms can sort of swing through with freedom, because we don't want to just be stuck here. We don't want to just be stopping. We don't want to be getting in our own way. We want the freedom for the arms to be able to swing through and accelerate because acceleration is key when it comes to bunker shots. So there's a couple of ways to set up from the down the line and then we'll address the, the front on view afterwards. The first point is, like, let's say we're going to this flag, okay? There's the, the target line, right? More or less. That's where we want to go, across there. One of the old school ways is to set up very open like this, okay? and then swing across our feet line. So we're coming up that way and cutting across it. And that creates a simplicity, but what the disadvantage to that is, you might be more familiar with it, the disadvantage to that is the ball, let me show you here, right? The ball will actually sort of give a glancing blow. So if the ball is in the turf this way, okay, and we're cutting across it, it gives a glancing blow that way. We're sort of exaggerating, we're going across it too much. And that's going to give a variable because sometimes you might hit it a bit more out the toe. And you can even see with some of the marks here, especially with the sand line, there are going to, you are going to cut across it a little bit, okay? But we really just want to hit the center as much as possible that way to get the grooves. So that's to understand what can happen if we stand too far across it and then cut across it even more. But standing open this way, you have to kind of get your lines correct. So the club face is pointing at the hole. The feet are pointing left, and our path is going to go to the left. So when we swing out, we're cutting across it a little bit in that perspective, okay? As I said, there's a disadvantage to that, that it can create a variable contact. But what I do like about it is that you can really sort of accelerate through without getting your own way, because exaggerated, you sort of cleared room this way. The next option is, Standing, actually, which is, I would say, more what you're seeing on tour now. Standing a little bit squarer, okay? So our feet are a little bit more square to the, the intended target line. Our club face is going to be slightly open to the right of the target, just ever so slightly, because that's going to give the height. But because we've got that club face open and we're swinging just a little bit to the left, ideally, that's going to enable us to get the ball on path, but stay, you know, have a little, little bit more of a squarer club face and then quite accelerate through. But to keep it a little bit squarer that way. With that essence, you have to have a lot more acceleration to get the ball up. As you can see in the live demonstration, I sort of stalled on that a little bit. So we want to try and have a little bit more acceleration if we're squarer to the target line, okay, a little bit squarer. Okay, so there's one more. You wanna play around with these to see what suits you best. This is a bit more alternative, but the idea being you pull this right foot back, okay, and that enables you to pick the club up a little bit steeper to get behind it, and then we really thump down and attack that way. That's the sensation. So just these address positions, these set up variables give you 
sort of options for that sensation. So just from pulling this right foot back, it's gonna give me more weight on the left side, but I'm picking the club up and swinging through. And you've got to accelerate, but it's giving a nice kind of consistent low point. There's less variable to it. So it's just pulling the right foot back a little bit here, picking the club up, staying on top of it, and accelerating down. You will prefer one to the other. You need to try it a couple of times. It's definitely not easy to go from one to the other, like immediately, but just see which one gives you the more confidence and ability. But let's show you from front on about some of the keys for the setup. Okay, so we are looking from front on now. The key that really is the only key here is to have more weight over the left side, okay? That we're 60, 40%. We're, whichever setup you're doing, we want the ball to be in the center of the sternum here. Okay, we want more weight on the left side. And then it's just enabling that feel to pick the club up and accelerate through. We definitely don't want to be hanging back because if we're trying to lift it in that sense, if we're sort of here and trying to lift it that way, that's very difficult to try and repeat. So we need to have more weight on the lead side. I say left, but it's the lead side, whichever way you're at. And that is basically it. As far as grip's concerned, we want firmness, but we definitely want to feel the weight of the club. So it's moving around so we can feel the weight and we can spank the sand a little bit, okay? Weight over on the front foot here. Pick the club up and accelerate through, okay? Notice I'm sort of staying down a little bit that way. There's different ways you can go about it, but again, this is just giving the stock shot to make sure that whatever you do, whatever the distance, you can at least get the ball out with consistency, okay? Apply those things, test it out, see how you feel. When we're out on the golf course, we don't wanna be thinking about too many things, right? We know out of a bunker, we want to have more weight on the left side or the lead side so we can accelerate through. But sometimes when we're not feeling it or too many thoughts going on in our head or we haven't even been in a bunker for ages, because that can happen too. Sometimes you can go a couple of rounds without playing a bunker shot or more. Sometimes you end up going like four of them in one round. It's just golf. But there's one little thing that you can ensure to do if you find that you're kind of thinning a few or if you're really dumping some short like this, it might be because you're not haven't got enough energy going this way and then accelerating forward and a simple kind of setup tweak you can do to emphasize that feeling of having the lead side there and having a bit more energy going into the ground and through is simply raising the right heel so if you come around here you'll see from this angle and even from back here you'll be able to see that raising the right heel will all of a sudden so let's say I was back here I can't raise that right heel and not move forward because that's going to cause me to tilt back. And if I was sort of sat back a bit too much and I raise the right heel, I'm kind of going to be in my way. But to raise the right heel and to feel balanced and supported, I have to shift my weight forward. My sternum is over the ball and I have to shift my weight forward to better swing through. Okay. That's the shot we want. So a very simple kind of reminder and kind of checkpoint to do to ensure that you have got a stable setup and just by even for short shots okay i'm static i'm quite flat here so i want to i want my energy being forward i want it being this way raising the toe up okay feeling comfortable feeling braced feeling balanced and then hinging and swinging through is going to give us the right kind of angle of attack and a good position to be a little bit more consistent without it confusing too much. Raise the right heel, it will make it easier.